Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 7. Okay, so the previous episode, um, we got in the end, like uh, in the end of the previous episode, there was a kind of a revelation that uh, like the thing that we kind of thought that the whole training that uh, Ligoshi did, that was purely for the mental aspect. Now this is one thing that like we should have realized before but uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of expected it but I was still 50-50 with my you know uh, thing like I was thinking like maybe maybe he really like Ligoshi won't be able to you know gather his strength because he's not been eating properly and uh, like the on only thing that he trained for was his mental aspect like I was under you know the impression that maybe you know he was able to gather strength from the stuff that he was eating unfortunately that was not the case he is a carnivore he needs to eat meat like that is the main thing because like that was uh, something that i really was not thinking about which like i had a feeling about it but it, it was not you know 100 percent in the end it showed us that no like he needs to eat what he eats like he cannot become a vegetarian completely like he can consume you know uh, veg vegetables but he cannot completely deny meat like he has to partake in that as well so now the question is what will he do like uh, I, I'm not sure like he is quite opposed to eating you know meat because obviously like his herbivore friends like he wants to protect the herbivores so i'm sure like he'll get this thing in his mind that if i consume meat and i'm also you know trying to help the herbivores it's kind of you know a uh, contrasting thing that i'm doing like it will be kind of hypocritical i'm sure he will think like this which i'm really not sure that like anyways i'm just like you know guessing stuff in this point so let's just see i'm sure we'll get the answer in this episode so yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 7 of Beastars, season 2. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! You can know, Legoshi is a pretty serious guy, so like... He usually thinks about a lot of things, like to you know to uh, in an extremely serious manner. Like he it takes everything quite seriously. So I'm sure, like he will like the thing that I was saying before the starting that he will think that it will be hypocritical, you know, to consume meat at the same time, kind of saying that I'll save the herbivores. Like that is contrasting behavior. So I'm really not sure like he has to consume meat like he is a carnivore otherwise how will he you know get the strength to protect people uh, to protect his friends to protect Haru so like it's a difficult thing you know like him being a carnivore and also trying to save the herbivores. Right. There you go. Let's see. You need nutrients, Legoshi. Which obviously vegetables and fruits are not able to provide you with. The proper nutrients. Wait, what? What chunks? Oh. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's Oh, he's consuming other people's stuff to check the taste, I'm guessing. 
What the hell? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, look at Pina. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Oh. What the? Um, hello? Oh no! What the? Wait, what? What the? Wait! What what happened? I did pull. Okay, calm down. Oh my god, everyone will freak out. Oh my god. Oh no. He damn, but like pulling it off completely, like. Wait, what? Wait, you can detach the arms? What the hell? Like it completely, you know, came out. How is it, how are you going to attach it? Like... Oh. Okay, that's... The result of his, you know, becoming acceptable to the Harvey Force. Okay, quick, quick, like he, he's losing blood, I'm sure. Okay, they kind of. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's kind of, you know, scary, like. Okay. Oh no, he, he must feel, you know, extremely bad. Like, he'll also, you know, get punished or something, I'm sure. I'm sure, like, he did not want that to happen. He must have, you know. They must be, you know, like, kind of joking around or something, trying to pull stuff and accident happened. Oh my god, suddenly he's, like... Yeah, but there are people who can, you know, who will, like, target that. Yeah, fear will... Oh, yeah, okay, there's also that thing, I kind of forgot. Yeah, yeah, like, people will kind of... Yeah, like, the whole thing with, you know, the carnivores will get even worse, like, people will start pointing fingers again. You need to, yeah, wash it. Using soap or detergent, whatever. What? What? Wait a minute. Oh! Oh yeah, he's big. He's strong. Oh no, he, he really ate. What?
Oh my god! Okay, I was under the... I still did not fully, you know, think that a carnivore did it. I was on... Okay, I'll talk about it later. Okay... Okay, he's getting ready to kill you, Ligoshi, so... Damn, he's a bear, he's strong, and he, he's not eating meat, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Tina. Okay, thank god you're here. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> like imagine stumbling upon a murder scene. <laughs> it's awkward for both the killer and the victim. <laughs> I, I think he heard. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh my god, he'll be in, you know. Okay, oh boy. He'll be a target. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, you know, Pina is a bit special in that department. <laughs> Not all hard folks are. Okay. Wow, what an amazing team. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of correct. Yeah, then you're done. <laughs> yes. Got you. Victory for justice. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Okay, Riz. Riz, calm down. Hmm. What? Everyone? Everyone got a message? Oh my god! Here we go! Here we go! Like, I knew this, this was coming! Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Yeah.
Yeah, like. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, she knows. Oh Lord. Oh, everyone knows. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he was kind of a, you know. Like, he's not a saint, but he is a good person. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, you need an emergency meeting. Yeah, I'm sure everyone is, you know, wanting to continue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Is this? Yeah. Oh my god, he's getting nightmares now. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I so he did it on an accident or something like eight them. All base of it. Oh, is that so? Oh. But the side effect, I'm guessing. And that also, but. Oh, what's that, honey? That's honey, isn't it? Or something else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he also looks like that, you know, that kind of a uh, <laughs> good Good bear, good bear kind of a thing. Oh, no, two, two, two of them. Two of them, no. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, this, he's talking about them. Okay, I was thinking he was talking about Legoshi and Tina, but... Uh. Hmm. Okay. So what happened? Why did you like you know eat him?
I'm sure that was accident, you know, the, him eating them. Because just look, look, look at it, they're like, they're like so good friends. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, so also he really is improving, interacting with him. Oh, I'm, I can under, okay, I can kind of get what happened after this. He did not eat it. He did not get his, you know. He did not take his medication, so. That was his, oh my god, the red moon. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Oh no, oh my god, this also kind of triggered it. Oh! Alright, them kind of freaked out. Like, I can kind of understand, you know, it's the red moon and he didn't take his medication. Oh no. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling here. Um, he must start jumping on you any second. Yeah. He didn't even, you know, notice that he attacked him. Ah, my mind is soaked in honey. Oh, great. Okay, this was uh, an episode. Oh my god. <sighs> like... Oh god. Like, you know... Kind of his fault, but at the same time it's not. So, like, you know, he did not attack him acting on malice, you know, he wanted to be friends. Unfortunately, the way he tried to do it was not good. So, and like, even though that was the re like the thing, them kind of accepted him, but like, uh, now one thing I am a little bit, you know, uh, kind of curious about, I'm going to talk about it after the ending, like, that is like, the whole thing with them, like, uh, in the beginning, 
like Tim was obviously like a good friend, but then on the rooftop, uh, when Riz talks with Tim and says that I have not taken my medication, uh, like uh, I'm trying to, you know, kind of change myself, stuff like that, he said. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I tried to change myself, he said stuff like that, and then uh, like it was also the red moon, and Tim here, <coughs> excuse me. Says that you look kind of off, your body seems swollen. He says that, and then Tem kind of gets scared. He tries to run away. Riz catches him, kind of gets cut. Tem, Tem gets freaked out at that, and Tem starts running. He goes into a room. Okay. Now here's the thing. We see uh, Riz standing. Tem also standing, bloody. Now, uh, Riz said that we could have been like we're, we're good friends, stuff like that. And uh, Tem says that how could we? You carnivores are all monsters. Now here's the thing. Now there's a big contrast. What happens after this? The way Tem was talking before this was like you know he got freaked out looking at uh, Riz. Then he comes here and says that you carnivores are all monsters. And but Riz here, like he responds it as if like he said he then says that when Tim said this, uh, his eyes and words have never been more beautiful than they have ever been. <coughs> he had an expression of true friendship. Now here's the thing. Then Tim starts completely talking something about something else. He says that that's why you don't need to hide anything anymore. We are best friends. Now, like, is this some kind of, uh, like, you know, hallucination that he saw? Like, I'm really unable to understand. Like, uh, Thames was like saying that you guys are monsters. Then suddenly he says that we are best friends. Like, isn't that kind of contrasting? Like, what happened? Like, I don't know. And then we see, like, uh, Reese gets kind of, uh, like, surprised. Tim says that uh, the immense strength you have is a part of how wonderful you are. Like, is Tim really saying this kind of stuff or is Riz like visualizing it like that? It is kind of an illusion in his head that he's seeing. Maybe in the, you know, in reality, Tim is scared and he is, you know, like standing still. And like, like Riz kind of like in a hallucination or something for not taking the medication or something like that or because of the red moon like he is like interpreting whatever Tim is saying in a positive way and then uh, like and Tim says that I'll accept every part of you Riz and then he comes and hugs Riz um, Riz also hugs Tim back and then after he looks at Tim again it's like bloody Tim is dead and he says that there are signs of struggle. So, like, what actually happened here? In, in my opinion, I think, like, Tim was scared, definitely scared. Like, obviously, he was a good friend of Riz. But he knew that Riz was taking his medication, which helped him to become his friend. Like, the medication was the thing that was, like, a bond between them. Uh, like, however bad it sounds, it's kind of truth. Like obviously he's a hardy for he'll definitely be scared by a big bear. Now they were good friends and then suddenly when like Riz tried to you know uh, stop the medication and thought that yeah maybe we'll be fine. Maybe I'll be fine. He goes to the rooftop and Tem sees it and gets freaked out because obviously like he can see that it's a red moon like uh, like he might kill him. And obviously the hard force instincts kick in and he tries to run away. Like the kind of uh, like he gets scared at this. So him suddenly talking about being friends with him, uh, like just after the moment he said that you guys are monsters is kind of weird to me. That is the reason why I, I, I like at least I think, or maybe I'm wrong, like I think that whatever like Tim was saying in the end, like we are friends, we are good friends and then hugs him, everything was kind of a mental, you know, fabrication made in uh, Riz's brain. And he kind of like saw it like that and he hugged him. Where, whereas in reality, I'm sure like he, like Tim was trying to run away, but you know, uh, like uh, this kind of hugged him and crushed him to death. 
and killed him because of obviously not taking his medication the red moon whatever like all these problems at the same time so his brain made an illusion made a fabrication of them being like you know like yeah Tim was hugging him in like good faith but actually more probably it was not like Tim was probably trying to you know run away from that grip and kind of scratching his hand and everything as he said there was signs of struggle so that is just what I think I might be completely wrong maybe Tim really said those words but I don't know like it, it's extremely weird like two co contrasting statements from Tim comes in the same you know uh, place so at least I think that that was a mental fabrication in uh, his mind. <clears throat> so if I'm wrong, please be sure to correct me down, you know, because uh, like at least this is how I interpreted this scene. Because, you know, it's, isn't it weird? Like suddenly like him freaking out and then he's suddenly saying that, no, we're good friends and hugging him. Like it's kind of contrasting. So that's why like it's just a thought that I have. And I think like something like this happened like you know uh, like the medication acted as a kind of a stopper in his mind so maybe not taking it kind of gave him withdrawal symptoms or something or something happened like he kind of like like got affected by that and also the red moon also affected him so he without knowingly like he didn't want Min to kill him so without even knowing uh, that he killed him or something and then he like after realizing that he killed him he like, decided to consume him because he did not want to forget them so like in his weird twisted way he thought that if i consume them i'll forever be with him or something like that so like yeah that's what i think i might be wrong <laughs> i don't know but yeah and okay so that was the whole thing with them now there's another big thing that happened in this episode that is uh, uh, was that and the guy who uh, the uh, person who got his hand ripped off um was that an anteater i'm guessing is that an anteater or what i'm not sure what that like who he actually is like i cannot recognize the animal but he looks like an anteater you know i might be wrong <laughs> Like, I, obviously, like, uh, my knowledge about animals is quite low, so sorry if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, his hand. Oh, okay. I saw what happened here. All right, just a sec. Like, during, you know, uh, like, when I was talking, uh, well, like, when the scene was happening, I kind of said that maybe they were joking around, kind of, you know, like, touching each other's hands or like doing some kind of stuff that's why it kind of got like detached from his hand now that i see it properly we can see what happened um like they were exercising like uh, uh he like the person who did it i'm not sure who he, he is is that a panther i think so like a black panther or something like he like hold held his hand and was doing stretching exercises that's how it got oh my god kind of you know like this like this kind of shows that they have that like, they have it like trust in each other obviously because he gave the permission uh, to him to stretch his hands to for the exercise because like even though he's a carnivore like they are friendly they have trust in each other but like obviously like you cannot do anything about your strength like he like he, he obviously forgot about how strong he is being a carnivore and him being a herbivore so he maybe he stretches too you know too strongly and it got like torn off his hand and like obviously after that he his fear set in like you know the hardy four instincts he started freaking out and said that no one no carnival will touch us but obviously like allowed legoshi because someone had to carry him you know so like and legoshi is strong enough he has you know he's kind of <laughs> like become <laughs> uh like a <laughs> like a vegetarian so he like and he's quite calm and everything looks like less intimidating so he chose legoshi so yeah and also like uh riz also came with him because he was like you know he's the good big bear of the like club like no one knew like he ate them and or the mask that he's wearing kind of 
so yeah like that's another big thing that happened that that kind of you know triggered the whole thing with carnivore and herbivores like there was this whole thing with carnivore and herbivores segregation between them this kind of you know um like enhanced it enhanced it and like i'm sure like as they were like talking about like there's this whole thing with them dividing the like classes and them also like shutting down the drama club because obviously it's a mixture of both herbivores and carnivores so yeah so the whole thing kind of got trigged like enhanced the whole effect so obviously like the people who are uh kind of against the whole thing with herbivores and carnivores uh like like together like they are take go it's going to take this as a chance and they're going to strike back and say that look you see like this happened so like we want we want the carnivores and herbivores to be divided and they're going to take this like obviously they took this opportunity and they did it so yeah and then comes the most surprising part of this <laughs> this episode that is um <laughs> Legoshi is saying suddenly that, um, like Riz, uh, you're the person who ate them, weren't you? And Riz was like, what? Like, uh, you know, <laughs> what this is remind me, reminds me of <laughs> Attack on Titan. <laughs> the whole Reiner and <laughs> Berthold kind of saying nonchalantly that, yeah, I'm the Titan, you know, and this guy, this is guy is also in Titan to Eren <laughs> on the top of the walls. <laughs> This reminds me of that, and also Tim, Tim kind, uh, no, not Tim, sorry, um, uh, Pina kind of strolling around and like, like getting into that situation without even knowing, and he hears it all <laughs> and acts like if, as if nothing is wrong. Like, ah, yeah, you, you ate it, okay. Like, what, what can I do? Like, he was like that. So obviously, like, uh, he won't let him go, and like, <clears throat> obviously, like, Legoshi and uh like them uh was probably going to get killed or you know by this but them did an amazing job here he's uh why the hell am i always saying them oh god pina sorry about that guys if i uh, like mentioned pina as them um like okay so pina and Ligoshi was um, like probably going to get killed by him so then Pina does an amazing thing. He says that, you know, like one person has always gone missing from the drama club. If another person or two persons goes missing again, you're going to be in trouble. Like uh, the real authorities are going to come and they're going to sniff you out. <laughs> yeah, like, like obviously that kind of stopped Riz and he also sprinkled a little salt on top of it. He said that I hope you don't get to sleep at night. And yeah. The whole thing starts haunting him. He doesn't get to sleep. He gets nightmares, I'm guessing, at night. Uh, and also that, like, coupled with the effect of the whole, you know, the things that he takes, the medication, the side effects, that also coupled with that, his nights became completely, like, you know, uh, like, he could not sleep at all. So, yeah. Now, and then there's, like, this whole thing with Els and... Okay, what is his name? I always forgot. Billy or I'm talking about the tiger or Ben what's his name <coughs> I cannot find it here like uh, anyways like I'm talking about the tiger I'll, I'll make sure to remember his name from like this episode onwards his name is something with B Ben or Billy or something like that I think Billy anyways um so yeah uh, else and him like talking about it and <laughs> like i can see a potential here you know one of uh, like another ship which probably might sail uh, like else and him like <laughs> like they were kind of acting like that you know like else kind of blushing and everything and like he was also kind of blushing in a way <laughs> but yeah <laughs> and there's this whole like you know uh, conversation uh, let else said that if else was a female tiger i totally hate that <laughs> you know <laughs> locker room talk oh my god 
So yeah, um, I think this is a potential ship. So let's see. And uh, obviously, everyone also wants the drama club to go on. They're taking notes and like they're uh, like trying to find some solution about it. And after that, we see the whole uh, thing with uh, this and them. So the like the past the past flashback. This I already talked about uh, in the first like the beginning of the discussion. So yeah like the whole scene with them and uh billy uh, not billy uh, it is so many names my god i'm getting mixed up uh so yeah uh, that i already talked about in the beginning of the discussion so yeah and like that's all i like uh, like that's in my you know uh, like i at least interpreted it, it like that that did that thing that happened like them suddenly uh, you know kind of contrasting his own words in the end was something was that was a fabrication of Risa's mind so like like in reality he might have been struggling to get out of the bear hug but like like Riz kind of saw it as if he was saying that I'm your friend and going for a hug uh, like kind of initiating the hug himself but maybe not maybe that was his you know fabrication uh, it was kind of the side effect of not taking the medication and the red moon so uh, like yeah I, I i at least think that like that is what happened i might be wrong so yeah like this was a really you know a uh, really good episode like in a lot of ways uh like the whole uh thing with like uh the like riz like i cannot like properly judge him because of this like <clears throat> obviously we can see that he had no malice in his heart he did not like kill like them for fun or kill them for eating him he is just an unfortunate victim of the circumstances that like you know happened and it is kind of his fault for not taking the medication but he like he had you know he wanted the good like he wanted you know to be his self like be his real self in front of his best friend so that's why he did it unfortunately that was a bad decision that he took especially in a red moon night so yeah like he kind of messed up at that so i cannot like blame him for this but i also cannot say that he is completely innocent like it's kind of a weird position he is in so yeah like i, I cannot say that he's innocent because you know uh he kind of shows his irresponsibility that's the reason why i'm saying that i cannot say that he's completely innocent because being responsible is also part of your job you know like especially because you are a big bear you have you're extremely strong so him like you know not taking the medication is kind of irresponsible which is you know kind of unfortunate because he had the best in his mind so like bad what can i say like bad luck or bad decision making choices that he had so uh, like stuff like this happened so that's why i really cannot judge him i'm not sure like how this anime will proceed as to you know like obviously he did something wrong he must get some kind of punishment but what punishment he should get like how is it going to you know uh, like everyone is going to carry that out or how is he even going to get pun punished will everyone get to know that he killed him or this will be a secret between Legoshi and Pina and him. Like, who knows? Like, let's just see. Wait and watch. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. This was uh, episode number um, 7 of Beastars uh, Season 2. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. And be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share about this ep uh, episode. Or anything in general. Your opinion about, like what happened in this episode like i really want to you know you know your guys's opinion uh, as to like the way i interpreted it like did anyone a few guys also think it like that or is it just me you know like i kind of like made this weird theory of that or something but uh, like i really want to know so be sure to you know comment down below uh, what you guys thought about this episode so yeah that's it guys so this was uh, b stars season 2 episode number 7 so i'll be back with another b stars episode next week same time so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.